I'm like super excited. I'm waiting call for my classmate to come over and bring his stuff. That's actually his. Wish me luck. I'm very excited to go on that vacation. Whatever. Not vacation, but like. I hope I'm saying it right. Attention, please be advised that according to civil aviation regulations, it's prohibited to carry in your carry on items and hand luggage. Queen. Hey, Maria, I'm not going to see you. And as the boarding time started, we decided to rush to our airplanes, take our seats and relax and prepare ourselves for a long and lovely flight to Istanbul. After realizing that my airline offers a plethora of movies, I decided to make the wisest decision of all, aka have a Lord of the Rings marathon. And while my nerd alter ego was very happy with my choices, the plane took off and we were served our airplane meals and let me tell you, it was quite lovely. I truly enjoyed every ounce of it because I really love rice and chicken, so this meal hit home. I loved it, it was delicious, and I knew that I needed to eat everything because I would need energy to endure the long, long travel. So, as we landed in Istanbul, I decided to scavenge the duty-free section to look through all the goodies that were offered in the shops there. I stumbled upon tiny bottles of alcohol, which immediately entranced me, and I wanted to bring all of them home. As we did not have much time to walk around in the transit area, I made the right decision to make a fool of myself while taking over the playground for kids. I shocked a couple of little babies there and let me tell you, I enjoyed being an imaginary aviator and going down the slide. That was a total delight. And while I was entertaining myself and forcing my classmate to film me, it was already boarding time and we went to our plane and this time I decided to bore myself to death with Matrix Resurrection. And let me tell you, the movie sucked every ounce of energy I had and by the time that we were in Bishkek, I literally wanted to die from exhaustion and I was holding to the pure power of will. However, the organizers of the event met us and brought us to our very first hotel. Let me tell you, I was struck by the location of the hotel and by the beauty of Isikul Lake and its colorful surroundings. Me and my new artist friends from Belarus, Anya and Vova, had the most wonderful walk in the area. And now I'll shut up and let you enjoy the beautiful gardens of the hotel we stayed in. After a couple of hours of enjoying the nature and walking, we had to go back to the hotel's conference room to get our art supplies for the week of painting that awaited us. I was super excited. I was very pleased with the colors that we've got and I was impatiently waiting for the days that would follow and I would get to enjoy my very first experience in drawing in outside and in nature.
have prepared a drawing, a sketch. For now, it's going okay. I'm a bit nervous as this is my first time drawing on planet like a serious one with other much, much better and much more educated artists than me. I'm like the freaking BB artist. And I'm gonna prepare um, paints and colors because my sketch is ready already. That girl doesn't know that I'm drawing her too. She low key calms me down. And that's it. this strong. This is my progress for now. It's actually so much fun. I'm having so much fun. All of my nervousness disappeared when um, I started drawing. So that's a wait. Ma'am, get out, get out, ma'am. I think she doesn't like my paint. Go, ma'am. Oh my god, poor baby. Okay, so I am done for my very first try. I am pleased because that was my very very first planet sign in nature, especially in mountains. My imposter syndrome was telling me that I would not be able to draw anything, like nothing. So I am quite pleased considering my progress from my previous drawing. It was good. I think this week will give me a lot of knowledge, practical knowledge especially. I try not to compare myself to other people because obviously they have so much more knowledge than me, better education than me uh, when it comes to art. So I'm trying not to overthink it. I'm not planning to compare myself to anyone in uh, during this week because I think it won't do me any good. Comparing yourself is not the best strategy. Uh, that's it. On the second day, we traveled for three hours and a half to paint petroglyphs in the Cholpon Atta area by the Isiko Lake. My mood was considerably lifted, as everyone was incredibly sweet and friendly, and everyone was oriented to take in the beautiful surroundings to create breathtaking art pieces. As I'm editing the videos right now, however, I just noticed that I have not been able to be consistent in filming myself draw, so there is not much footage of me painting. I'm burning. So yeah, in my defense I can say that I was just simply overwhelmed and sometimes I was forgetting to film because I was surrounded by so many new things. So this vlog is basically me chaotically experiencing my trip. 
after a very long drawing session in the petroglyph area it was so nice to go and sleep in a very comfortable bed of the second hotel the following day we went to the high mountains uh, the local ski resort in the city of Karakol we were told to put as much clothes as possible because the high mountain top that we were taken to draw on was very windy and cold unfortunately I did not have much because I didn't pick up a lot of stuff I expected the place to be very very hot as it was uh, I got a bit of cold However, it's nothing, it's really okay. And being cold on that mountain top was worth every single moment. To be very honest, the resort reminded me of my home country, especially one region uh, that's named Svaneti. So painting the area was triple pleasant for me. It turned out that painting mountains is a bit tricky for me. So personally, I struggled a bit, but the result was not half as bad as I expected. So you might be interested about the trip and who organized it. So this trip was organized by an international fund in Kyrgyzstan where uh, they yearly invite art students from different post-Soviet countries like Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Ukraine, etc. to draw local natural beauties. They provide artists with art supplies, all food and hotel stays are paid by the organizers and by the end of the trip that you'll see in the vlog, they picked up paintings that they liked so that they can leave them in local art galleries or museums. <laughs> Okay, as a side note, some artists did not want to stop even during our trips and continued to draw even in the vehicles. Artists like Milena. The following day we went to visit an orphanage as a charity event to brighten up the children's day. We drew and played with them and it was an absolute delight. In the end we left them art supplies, candies and it was a very heartwarming experience. Не знаю. 
Конкретно. У нас четверо. The dumplings were super delicious. They were full of spices and local onions and veggies, and I ate a bunch of them. I fell in love with the soup that was a cold brew soup with rice noodles it was super super spicy i adored it i don't remember the name unfortunately my adhd memory does not give me a chance to remember stuff but i fell in love with it the best soup ever Next trip to the Jetty of Goose Rocks, we had a chance to draw in two locations, the nearby territory of the rocks and the splinted hill called the Broken Heart. Anya, Vova and I decided to paint it. However, per tradition, first we wanted to have a stroll around the area and enjoy the beauties of the location we were brought in. Also a side note, I really loved the fact that in Kyrgyzstan, you can always see a yurt uh, somewhere in mountains or in the middle of nowhere. If you don't know, uh, a traditional yurt is a portable round tent that is used as a home and can be assembled very quickly. work for a while, the mix of green grass and copper color of the rocks created a magical combination and it was very pleasant to paint. However, the nature was too seducing so we left our paintings half done and went for a walk with one of our main guides. We wandered in the sandstone for made the dread cliffs and marveled the beauty around us, not forgetting to film and photograph every single step we made. It was absolutely lovely.
А теперь иди за холстом и давай с холстом. Our next location was the canyon of fairy tale and it was absolutely breathtaking, beautiful, yet again, I was at loss of words and also quite literally it was breathtaking because it was so hot there, we could hardly breathe. I did not film much of my painting process as my phone would melt on the spot with me and we would be just a little puddle of phone and a human being there. However, I did enjoy squeezing my butt through the tiny gorges, climbing the tiny walls and walking around through the desert-like roads in search for a spot where it could be. After our five-hour drawing session, we were taken to eat some traditional food. It was absolutely delicious, the tea was exquisite and afterwards we were taking to the beach of Isikult to draw again. It was already the evening and our last location of the day. Later that night we went for a drink on the beach uh, to stare at the stars and talk about art. That's it. <laughs> I forgot to mention the fact that we were usually given specific themes to paint, like mountain chain or stone theme or lake inspiration and etc. On the last day we were pretty much free to paint whatever we wanted, so some of the artists started painting portraits, the other ones were making sketches and the rest of us were just doodling and playing around with colors. Our last location was nearby the lake beach, which was surrounded by yurts and wild lavanda. Vika and Esmira, artists from Moscow, decided to draw me and I was bathing in delight from so much artistic attention towards my very humble persona. The portraits came out very good and the girlies were incredibly kind to gift me with both of the drawings. On that last day, our drivers decided to surprise us with a delicious traditional potato meat meal. They cooked it themselves, it was very delicious, had an amazing homemade taste and it was so nice to feel that they have taken such a good care of us and decided to treat us with deliciousness. After the rain and an unforgettable meal, our last trip took us back to the hotel where we started preparing for the exhibition of all of our works throughout the week. The commission that consisted of teachers and the organizers of the event was already assembled and they were looking through all of our works and choosing the ones they liked the most. I was very, very happy to see that they liked two of my paintings, the lone water bottle and the expressive drawing of a yurt. All of our artworks will be exhibited in the new gallery in the city of Karakol. Personally, I am really proud of that as for a novice artist like me, having your first en plein air paintings exhibited in the National Gallery for Young Artists is a really a very big deal and I'm very proud of it.
I can say that I gained so much knowledge and practice and experience from this wonderful trip. I got to know a lot of talented, very good young artists and it was an unforgettable trip for me. I think I became better at drawing nature, I became braver at expressing myself with oils, I learned a couple of tricks when it comes to drawing with colors in oils, and overall it was an unforgettable positive experience, but it's time to go home. And I was kind of sad. Hmm.